I'm Lou Gross, and uh, I'm the uh, professor at uh, University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And this is a boring presentation. It's about a report. Can't imagine anything more boring than that. Uh, but it's a report that de directly relates to uh, this uh, effort. Uh, it's from the National Academies, uh, who were essentially hired by the National Science Foundation to, to produce a report about undergraduate data science education. Um, and, I, and I will start out with a caveat to say that the um, effort of the people involved, despite an effort to be inclusive, was nowhere near as inclusive as the folks in this room. Uh, and so you, you should take all of our, uh, the recommendations from things like this with a grain of salt because it doesn't have the same set of voices that I have heard here at this, at this conference. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, and by the way, I have a copy of it, and it goes to Wendy Graham, who I think really deserves a lot of applause. She was not acknowledged at the beginning here, but she's, she's basically the underpinnings of, of a lot of that has gone on uh, here in data and environmental issues for decades. So, Wendy, it's for you. Um, and real quickly, uh, with regard to the, the, um, the summary of what goes on here, there's an introduction. Um, there is uh, a set of basically uh, our perspective of what some of the skills uh, for a data scientist would be, including a, descri a description of what we call data acumen, um, a set of uh, descriptions of different ways that data science programs uh, might arise. Oh, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know um, and, uh, and then uh, a whole set of sort of somewhat prescriptive approaches to how someone might start a data science program. And then a whole chapter on evaluation. And we argued that evaluation should be part of every data science program from the very beginning. Um, and uh, uh, the, the, a few key points. First of all, this is the infancy of data science. There's no fixed rules yet on how to do it. Uh, the future will continue to be many different kinds of roles for people in data science. Uh, and it's, it really does borrow from a lot of prior disciplines. And there needs to be multiple approaches to how people uh, uh, um, go about developing programs and uh, might be mentored through, through these programs that will also benefit from coordination from the variety of professional societies that touch on this space. We haven't heard a lot about professional societies at this, but they definitely, uh, there's many of them that, that tie into this. At the undergraduate level, a few of the key points is that the, the field is going to evolve, and that means the programs need to evolve. Uh, there's uh, a wide variety of pathways for undergraduates as a result of the evolution of these programs, and it should cater to and promote diversity demographic and intellectual in all the students that it serves. Um, there are a whole set of core competencies. We call them data acumen. Uh, and that evaluation of the programs is, is critical. Um, and I'm going to sort of end here with a, a description of what we call data acumen, um, because uh, it, it's not an easy thing to incorporate all of these various concepts and skills. And I'll separate concepts and skills here, as we did in the, in the report. Uh, so there's mathematical foundations, there's computational foundations, there's statistical foundations, there's issues of understanding data management and curation of data, uh, how you describe and visualize data. That includes things like metadata structures, uh, data modeling and, and assessment, whole issues of workflow. And uh, we ha I haven't heard the term reproducibility here. Maybe um, it, it's one of those key issues in, uh, in modern data science. And we also emphasize that uh, it's, it has to be communicated, that communication is key, and that's part of the education process for a uh, data science um, uh, person. Um, and uh, there are alternative approaches to think about education that involves direct domain understanding, that uh, it may be that data scientists broadly trained in all these background areas 
is not going to be as useful as someone who has intuition in a particular field, in our case, environmental data, um, and, and understanding why the problems are of interest to environmental scientists and to biologists. And, uh, and, and a whole host of uh, issues associated with ethics associated uh, with this as well. I will point out that there's a website listed up here, nas.edu slash envisioning, capital D, capital S, envisioning data science. You will find there a whole set of webinars done uh, in association with these reports. And those webinars include one on enhancing diversity in data science that you might find useful. It's by two people who are not here, uh, and you might get a somewhat different perspective by looking at that. And I will shut up. <laughs>